An expert warns of bigger fines for leave law violations if communication training don't improve, and a study shows that nursing homes have more hospital admissions and resident diversity since passage of OBRA 87. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, February 19th, 2020. To stay in the know of long-term care news, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A legal expert is warning providers that effective communication could help prevent a costly violation after a skilled nursing facility was ordered to pay more than $13,000 in lost wages and damages for wrongfully terminating an employee who took maternity leave. The Care Center on Hazel Line, a skilled nursing facility in Van Nuys, California, was ordered to pay $13,640 to a former employee following a Department of Labor investigation. The provider also presented a reinstatement offer to the former employee, but the offer was rejected. Many leave law violations tend to stem from misinformation or miscommunication, according to Jeff Brecht, an attorney and shareholder with Lane Powell. He says, an employee who qualifies for leave may not be aware of what notice to provide to the senior living employer or when or how to provide it or even to whom. Similarly, when information is lacking, supervisors may not be aware of when an employee might be entitled to leave and when it would be appropriate to loop in a human resources representative. In order to avoid this downfall, Breck said, providers should ensure their leave policies and related employee leave notices are included in new, new hire training materials and staff handbooks. He also noted that administrators and supervisors should be trained on federal, state, and local leave laws, which should include how to communicate with employees about leave-related issues, as well as when and how to request healthcare provider certification with regard to an employee's serious health condition. Nursing homes are admitting more patients from hospitals 30 years after the passage of the Omnibus Budget of Reconciliation Act of 1987, or OBRA 87, according to new research. Also during that time, the industry has contracted, nursing home quality has improved, and the resident population has become more diverse, the study also revealed. The number of residents being admitted from hospitals has increased by 15% since 1985, with more patients needing rehabilitative and post-acute care, according to a new study that revealed nursing home composition and quality since OBRA. Conducting the, conducting the study were researchers at the Center for Gerontology and Healthcare Research at the School of Public Health at Brown University and the Center of Innovation in Long-Term Services and Supports at the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs Medical Center. Investigators also found that the nursing home industry has decreased in size by nearly 400 facilities, while the number of nonprofit duly certified and chained facilities has increased in the last three decades and nursing homes have seen more diversity among their residents. Nursing home quality has improved over the last 30 years, the report found. The number of residents receiving antipsychotics has dropped, while the use of physical restraint also dropped significantly. Direct care staffing levels have also increased. The research indicated that the biggest challenge for providers will continue to be issues around disparities and behavioral health. Full findings were published in the February issue of the Journal of Post-Acute and Long-Term Care Medicine. This has been your Long-Term Care News Update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.